Hi, I'm Sarah Mitroff with Sina, and this is a first look at the Very Cool Black Pearl. If you've never heard of Very Cool before, you're not alone. The brand hails from San Diego-based company Infosonics, which makes affordable unlock phones that can be used nearly anywhere in the world. Its premium model, the Black Pearl, costs $230, but doesn't sacrifice a lot for that price. This Android handset has an all-black exterior and smooth matte rounded back cover. Size-wise, it's about as big as the Samsung Galaxy S4, but not as thin. It weighs 5.5 ounces, which gives it enough heft to feel sturdy in your hands. Remove the back cover to reveal the battery, micro SD, and full-size dual SIM card slots. You have to take out the battery to swap out any of the cards, which is a huge minus in my book. There's a volume rocker on the left side of the phone, which has raised nubs that are easy to press. On top, you'll find the power button and headphone jack. On the bottom, there's a micro USB port. For a budget phone, the Black Pearl has a nice screen. The 4.7 inch diagonal HD 1280 by 720 display looks crisp, colorful, and bright. It's also easy to read in direct sunlight. The phone is running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, and while it looks like a vanilla version of the OS, it has a few modifications. One of them allows you to pop out a web page from the browser into a smaller window that can hang out over your home screen or other apps. Very Cool also included a few third-party apps, such as a notepad, a video player, and an advanced setup app where you can manage the SIM cards in the phone. There's an 8 megapixel camera on the back with an LED flash. While it has auto and manual focus, the camera struggles to take clear close-up shots. Wide landscape photos and indoor portraits turn out better. The camera can also record 1080p HD video, which looks sharp. Inside, the phone is packing a 1.2 gigahertz processor, which is slightly smaller than competing phones, but still performs well. Opening apps feels fast, the Black Pearl handles mobile games well, it doesn't have support for LTE, so depending on your carrier, browsing websites and downloading apps can be slow, but this has nothing to do with the processor. The Very Cool Black Pearl may not have top-of-the-line, up-to-date specs, but at $230, it's a great value for its price. If you're in the market for a budget-minded smartphone, it's definitely worth a look. You can read my full review on CNAT.com. I'm Sarah Mitroff, and this has been a first look at the Very Cool Black Pearl.